Brian Kelly on CNBC says, we are getting closer to the Bitcoin bottom. What does that mean? Welcome back guys, it's CryptoRocco here and in today's video, I'll play you a little clip of what Brian Kelly, the infamous Brian Kelly said on CNBC uh, that Bitcoin will be bottoming near 3,000, 2,800, 900. So what does that mean? Does it actually mean Bitcoin will bottom around that level or does it mean it, the complete opposite? So let's hear the clip. So the preconditions are there. Wouldn't surprise me if we pop down the 2,900 on Bitcoin. Uh, before so he's saying that 2900 is roughly where he thinks Bitcoin will bottom. But what does that mean? Previously, what CNBC said is, is the actual opposite of what actually happened. If you look at this guy's face and his body language, I just don't trust the guy. Again, I'm probably being a bit horrible to him, but I honestly don't trust him. I've made videos about Bitcoin CNBC predictor with 90% accuracy. Whenever they talked about Bitcoin, it went uh, the other direction. You could watch this video, the CNBC uh, ripple indicator video that I made. So this guy, the Brian Kelly guy said to buy ripple at 2.557 and sell xrp at 0.71 so he's telling you to buy at the top and sell at the bottom that's what this guy said so i'm i'm not listening to it at all and i don't uh, hopefully you are not uh, agreeing with this guy also yes we are having a bounce we've been so beaten up i'll do an analysis near the end of what my thoughts are of where bitcoin's going but we're so beaten up guys if you look at the charts uh, we're really really beaten up so there's obviously going to be relief rallies corrective rallies and that is what's happening i do not think uh, for one second that this bounce um is is the bottom and another thing is guys w when people say that the bottom is 3000 it's not necessarily what people what everyone is thinking the bottom will be won't be the bottom let's just say that so if people are thinking that this is going to be the bottom this won't be the bottom i think the bottom will be a lot lower and we'll probably get a spike around 2000 and it will be really quick i, I think the bottom is near i think there's probably a one more leg down but it's not going to be 2800 or 3000 and it will be a sharp rally to down maybe the 2800 level and then price will jump up really quickly within a day or two so it's not the worst level to buy around here but i don't think this will be the bottom that's just my picture it might not um go ahead i might change my prediction when i see the price action and um, i'll do my short-term analysis of what i'm seeing uh, on bitcoin whether whether to buy bitcoin now for this uh, jump i see it going to going up another leg um near the end of the video but that's why I think about Brian Kelly, guys. And even Brian Kelly admitted that he's been shorting Bitcoin. He's not admitted that before from, from I've been following him. I follow him on Twitter, guys. He's a funny guy to follow on Twitter. Again, if, you, if you're not following me, guys, give me a follow as well. I can update you guys a lot more on, on, on my Twitter than on my YouTube. And Brian Kelly said he's been shorting Bitcoin as well. And this is something that I agree on. So I get a lot of hate when I short Bitcoin on my Twitter and on my YouTube saying, oh, you don't believe in bitcoin why are you shorting bitcoin but you got you need to understand guys bitcoin guys it's a market and if you don't play the game guys you'll be losing money you have to play it's the market you have to learn the markets and play the markets if you don't short bitcoin and huddle and everyone else is shorting it you'll be the one losing out guys so yeah i don't think it shows anything just by huddling so that's one thing i do agree with but yeah he's been shorting bitcoin as well and apparently he's is more short than long bitcoin now so that's another thing when people are short it, it, there is a likelihood bottom is near but we don't get the bottom until there's a complete capitulation until people goes like oh bitcoin is dead i'm never buying bitcoin that's when we're gonna bottom if you go back to the 2014 2015 how it played out you'll see exactly how it played out and um there might be some similarities i've not got uh, I'm, I'm on coinbase so i can't see how it played out i'll probably make another video of what i'm looking for um for the bottom and i have made a video of why i'm what i'm kind of looking for it's like the wyckoff method where it kind of dips down forms higher lows so it kind of goes sideways forms like a nice bottoming pattern it spikes low to shake out everyone else and then it goes up so that's kind of what i'm looking at uh, for the bottom to form but i do think we're having a bounce and then we'll have a leg down then we're gonna go up that's my views but yes 
as Brian Kelly is saying 3,000 or 2,900 is the bottom, then it's not the bottom. So that's just my two cents, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What are your thoughts? When do you think Bitcoin is going to bottom? Do you think it's around 3,000 level? Do you think it's lower? Or do you not believe in Bitcoin at all? I'm a massive uh, Bitcoin maximalist. I love Bitcoin. I think it will be massive in the future. But this is market. It's run by emotions and sentiment. So we need to be careful of what we are doing. And it's good to see some green days, guys. We've not had many green days. XRP's done a lot better than probably Bitcoin. Um, there's few smaller coins. Ontology. It's good to see Ontology uh, making moves. A coin that I like. Neo's done well recently as well. One of my biggest. Um, one, I'm probably one of the biggest fans. I still really like uh, uh, neo a lot that's another interesting coin i'll probably make an analysis video on them this is another interesting coin that i kind of like um but yeah in, in the short term guys do you want do you if you haven't bought bitcoin yet at the bottom where do you think you can buy so i'll show you where i bought it i bought it around here um, at the break i left some orders there I, I bought some here i sold some there i wasn't sure whether this was going to be the end of it it was nice to see Bitcoin push up and and I think it's probably done its fifth wave now or it could be that it's the third wave and it's got another leg higher. So you could try to buy one probably at the breakout of this. Um, this could be a potential re-entry for you if, you if it breaks out. But I wouldn't, do, do not FOMO in. That's one thing that I will say. Do not FOMO in. You have another chance to buy again. Do not FOMO in. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel. And also, guys, I'm doing $250 worth of XRP giveaway. So if you want to be in with a chance of winning that, guys, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave your XRP address below. So thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.